Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're trying helper mac and cheese. That's right, hamburger helper ditched the hamburger to make these mac and cheese cups. Isn't this basically what they were making the whole time? Some sort of pasta in a sauce that you add hamburger to. So I guess we've really tried some of these already, just mixed with hamburger. We tried the Bold 3 cheese, the Bold Cheesy Pizza, the Bold Pepper Jack Queso, and the Bold Spicy Nacho Flavored Helper Mac and Cheese Cups, which weigh 2.6 ounces and cost $1.46 each. So let's go over the Bold 3 Cheese flavor first. Here's the ingredient list, and for those of you who have adverse reactions to MSG, there's MSG in these, so I'll eat them for you. The serving size is the whole cup which has 280 calories, 5 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 490 milligrams of sodium, 50 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugars, and 8 grams of protein. The directions for all four cups we're trying today is to open, remove seasoning packet, fill to the line with warm water, and microwave for 3.5 minutes. Then mix in the seasoning packet and let stand one minute. After resting for one minute, it's time to eat. And it already looks creamy and cheesy, much better than I expected. The Bold 3 Cheese Helper Mac and Cheese was very cheesy and creamy, the macaroni was cooked perfectly, and Mrs. Wolf Pit loved it but she's an aficionado of cheap mac and cheese, so of course she liked it. I didn't love it, but it was pretty good and much better than other mac and cheese cups I've tried. It was lacking that punch of flavor I was expecting from the word bold in the title. So I'm giving the Bold 3 Cheese Helper Mac and Cheese a 6 out of 10. Next, let's go over the Bold Cheesy Pizza Helper Mac and Cheese, which now has more cheese. And here's the ingredient list, and I think all four will be pretty much the same. Each cup has 270 calories, 4.5 grams of total fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 5 milligrams of cholesterol, 560 milligrams of sodium, 51 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 6 grams of sugars, and 8 grams of protein. After cooking and resting, per the instructions, our cheesy pizza mac and cheese cup is ready. It looked, and it was indeed, creamy and cheesy, but no more than the bold three cheese so I'm not sure where the extra cheese is coming from they mentioned. But I did find out where the world supply of Italian seasonings are. They're in this cup. The seasonings were overpowering the mac and cheese, and they were hard like they still had stems. Mrs. Wolf Pitt said it's not really that bad. It reminded her of Chef Boyardee's pizza kit you could buy in a box, which in my opinion isn't really a compliment. So I'm giving the bold cheesy pizza flavor a 4 out of 10. Next we tried the bold pepper jack queso helper mac and cheese which to me sounded like the best, and it actually looked pretty good on the picture. Here's the list of ingredients. Each cup has 270 calories, four grams of total fat, one and a half grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 510 milligrams of sodium, 51 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, seven grams of sugars, and eight grams of protein. After cooking and resting per the instructions, our bold pepper jack queso mac and cheese cup is ready. And it sure looked much different than the previous two cups, which all three cups were cooked exactly the same. But this batch turned out very mushy, like it was well overcooked. But the mushy pasta aside, I'm still trying this, for you, the people, so you don't have to. You immediately get a great fresh jalapeno flavor, not spicy, but the flavor of the pepper itself, which was good to have, but it was pretty much the only flavor in the cup. I'm not sure if the pasta was a bad batch or what, but it was really mushy compared to the others. That again, were cooked exactly the same way. So I'm giving the Bold Pepper Jack Queso Helper Mac and Cheese a 4 out of 10. Finally, let's try the Bold Spicy Nacho Helper Mac and Cheese. Here's the ingredient list. Each cup has 270 calories, 4.5 grams of total fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 550 milligrams of sodium, 51 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, seven grams of sugars, and eight grams of protein. 
After cooking and resting, per the instructions, our bold spicy nacho flavored helper mac and cheese is ready. And I was having a real good feeling this was going to be really good because of the aroma it was putting off. You could definitely smell the chili powders and the cumin. But then when we scooped the noodles out, they again looked mushy. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Two of the four cups came out perfect. Two of them came out mushy. All four were cooked exactly the same. But again, I'm doing this for you, the people, so you don't have to. And the noodles were indeed mushy, but not as bad as the queso noodles. But this cup actually had some flavor. One you could actually guess what you're eating. These tasted like nachos, unlike the queso in the pizza cups. So I'm giving the bold spicy helper mac and cheese a six out of 10. I would have given it a seven had it not been for the mushy noodles. So now let's do like we do for the final bite and add all four cups to the same bowl. And give them a good mix and see what they taste like combined. We usually have good results with this. So once we had everything all mixed together, we went in for a try. And it doesn't look that bad except for the mushy noodles. So into the old pie hole and down it went. And even with them all being mixed together, you still got the overpowering hard bits of Italian seasoning, which would honestly ruin a turd. Personally, I won't be buying these again, and I wouldn't recommend you waste your money either, but if you want to give them a try, give them a try and let me know what you thought of them. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.